hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel my name is precious right so in this video we'll quickly look at the concept of uh, integration of algebraic functions by partial fractions so you recall that on our discussions on uh, integration of course if you have not seen it i have a a playlist on integration where we've discussed introduction and then other integrations like integrations of polynomials integration by part integration by u substitutions and the rest of that okay so you could also check the playlist on this channel for integration so you'll be able to follow and then other videos on car colors right so now we have uh, that if there is a fraction of uh, algebraic functions okay so maybe i have something like this in this case here you have 2x all over x plus 1 multiplying x plus 2 okay and then you want to you know take the integral of this with respect to x remember that this is actually the same thing as what we have here so how do we do the integration of this sort so we say that we take that kind of integration following the partial fraction approach and remember we have also treated partial fractions in this channel you could also want to look at it okay so what are you expected to do okay so i am going to first of all disintegrate this uh, particular fraction into its partial fractions and then uh, i will try to now do the integration remember we said under partial fractions and when you have denominators of linear factors all you need to do is then take a constant as your numerator all over one of the factors in this case it is x plus one then plus you take another constant b all over the second factor when you have done this you will now remember that this is e, um, is what we have here our 2x over x plus one x plus two is equivalent to this so you take lcm of course if you take lcm you are going to still get back the denominator here and then the next thing is now to simplify this. So if x plus 1 divides uh, the, you know, the LCM here, I will get x plus 2. And that will multiply my A. And then I'm going to have plus B times x minus, sorry, x plus 2 dividing this. You will get x plus 1 left. And then, okay. So now you can see here at this point, the denominators are the same so you can quickly strike them away and then immediately the numerators become equivalent and so you have that 2x is equivalent to x plus sorry a into x plus 2 plus b into x plus 1 okay so what do you do now uh, there are two approaches you can either open this bracket and compare the corresponding uh, coefficients or we can just uh, so, um, do some substitutions that will eliminate some of the constant. So if I want to eliminate B now, all I'll need to do is to let my X become negative 1. So immediately my X becomes negative 1. Negative 1 plus 1 will be 0. And so B will be eliminated. And so if I put that into here, I'm going to have 2 into minus 1. And that is equal to here you are going to have A into minus 1 plus 2. Remember that this one is eliminated because uh, minus 1 plus 1 is 0 and 0 times b will be 0. Okay, so this is going to give me negative 2 is now equal to negative 1 plus uh, 2 is positive 1 and that times a is my a. So a is negative 2 and then I will, uh, I will then uh, substitute again. In this case, I'm going to let my x become negative 2 so that I can eliminate my a. And so when I do that, negative 2 times uh, uh, 2 here, remember you have 2x here. So 2 times negative 2 is going to give us negative 4. And that is equal to here will be eliminated because everything here will turn to 0. And then here I will have b into negative 2 plus 1. And that is going to give me negative 1. So I have negative 1 times uh, b as uh, negative b. Of course, minus will cancel minus. Therefore, my B is equal to 4. Okay, so what it means is that this fraction 
in partial that if you express it in, in in these partial fractions you're going to have that okay let me do that here that is going to be my a which is minus 2 all over x plus 1 then plus 4 all over x plus 2 and it will be good to let the positive 1 come first so that means i can actually also write this as 4 all over x plus 2 then minus 2 all over x plus 1 right so that means i can actually write the whole of this integral remember we are done with the partial fraction so we're going to bring the whole of this here now so my integral is now going to be equal to uh, the integral of uh, 4 remember to put the bracket 4 all over x plus 2 minus uh, 2 all over x plus 1 and you will close everything with your dx okay so at this point you can actually separate the uh, whole of this uh, integral on each of these fractions so i can have so at this point what am i going to have remember that the rule we are going to use here is a rule that tells us that uh, uh, where you have integral of this form if the numerator is a derivative of the denominator we are told that this is the same thing as the lean of the denominator okay plus c your constant okay so this is what we are going to apply here now right so what am i going to do now so i'll try to factorize this four out if i bring out the four i will have four integral one will be left there and that will be x over 2 with respect to x so why did i do that because the derivative of this denominator is going to give me one so i will need to make my numerator to look like what the derivative of this will give me and the same thing will apply here i'll bring out that two so i'll have integral of one all over x plus one with respect to x and of course you know we've not done anything if we still bring back these constants into the integral will get the same uh, what we were given originally so let's now integrate so by the rule i just stated here the i'm going to have that integral of this will simply be the ln of x plus 2 which is the denominator then minus 2 into the ln of uh, x plus 1 which is the denominator and then i can decide to leave it this way and then add my c or I can also choose to, uh, you know, do some, some simplifications. For instance, I can actually write this as the ln of x plus 2 raised to the power of 4. Remember the law of log reading. Whatever is multiplying, the log can come up as a power. And then minus, here I can have the ln of uh, x plus 1 all raised to the power of 2. And then at this point, I... Uh, I can gather it into one logarithm. Remember that in logarithm, subtraction can turn to division. So I can just choose one of the lean and then bring up, sorry. And then here I'm going to have x plus 2 raised to the power of 4 all over x plus 1 raised to the power of 2. And then finally, I can now put plus c as the, my final answer okay so remember i said you can also stop here and then you just put your plus c so whichever way is okay all right so the basic thing here is to understand that you need the knowledge of partial fractions and that was why i had to pause this to be able to take us through that right so let's go to the next example that we have here so here i'm also going to quickly split this into its partial fractions and so i'm going to have Remember what I said earlier, you will need to watch that video. There is no need to take your time doing this LCM. So I can just quickly go ahead because I know it is going to cancel. The two LCMs will cancel. So I'll just bring down the numerator here is equal to, in this case, I'll pick my A multiply by the second denominator here, which is X minus one, then plus B multiply by the first one here, which is X plus one. Okay, so that's enough. To help us okay so in this case now if i make x one if i let my x be one 
of course this is a constant function so it will still be one everything here will turn to zero then i'll just have one plus one which is two two times b is two b so this means that my b alone is equal to one all over two if i divide both sides by b sorry by two and then when i let my x to become negative one i'm going to eliminate b and so i'm going to this will still be one is equal to if i put here as negative one i'm going to have negative one minus negative uh, sorry minus one is still negative two and so that's going to give me negative two a so which means that my a alone is equal to minus one all over two dividing both sides by minus two and so what it means is that this partial fraction is actually equal to minus one over two all over x plus one then plus b sorry my b is one all over two over x minus one okay so let's try to factorize uh, something from this let's bring out my minus half okay so if we bring our negative half here we are going to have one all over x plus one then if we bring our negative half here you're going to have minus one all over x minus one so what that means is that of course if you bring back this half here it will still give you positive okay so we will introduce that here now so we are going to have the integral okay so if i bring out that negative half here i am now going to have the integral of the whole of this so remember that when you integrate this the denominator the derivative of the denominator here is simply going to give you one which is the numerator so that means that is going to give us the lean of the denominator which is x plus one then minus the same thing is applicable here if you differentiate x minus one you will also get one so you also have the lean of x minus one here and everything is plus c okay so at this point i can now choose to also do the the same thing i did in example one here and what is that choose one of the log since this is subtraction subtraction changes to division so you have x plus one all over x minus one and that is plus your constant c and that is your solution for example three all you need to do is to first of all evaluate or factorize the denominator into its uh, factors so when you do that of course, you are going to have, uh, if you, you can check that under um, quadratic equations, you are going to get that the factors are uh, x plus 2 and x plus 3. Okay, so after you've done that, you then try to do your partial fraction. So I have a all over x plus 2 and then plus b all over x plus 3. So like what I said earlier, just pick the numerator here 5x plus 12 is equivalent to pick the numerator here which is a multiplied by the denominator of the second one which is x plus 3 then you will uh, pick the numerator of the second one which is b multiplied by the denominator of the first which is x plus 2 okay so at this point we try to do our substitution so if i put my so if I put my x as negative uh, 2, I will eliminate b. And so negative 2 times 5 is minus 10. Minus 10 plus uh, 12 is 2. So you have plus 2 is equal to, if I put negative 2 here, I'm going to have minus 2 plus 3, which is 1. 1 times a is a. Therefore, my a is equal to 2. So secondly, if I let... Uh, let me let my x to be negative 3 then i'll be eliminating my a and so if i put negative 3 here i'm going to have negative 15 and that's plus 12 to be equal to if i put negative 3 here everything here will turn to zero and then here i will have b into negative 3 plus 2 and what's that going to be negative 15 plus 12 is negative 3 and that's equal to this will give you minus 1 times b which is minus b so if you cancel the negative signs 
our b is equal to 3. Therefore, the partial fraction we are looking for is uh, a, which is 2, all over x plus 2, then plus b, which is 3, all over x plus 3. So let's quickly substitute here now. So I will immediately split the two of them into two fractions. So I'm going to have, sorry, into two integrals. So like I did in example one, I'm going to bring out two here because I know that the derivative of the denominator is one. So that's going to give me this with respect to x plus here I will also bring out three because the derivative of this denominator is also one. So I will have x plus three also with respect to x. And so following what we already know, this is going to give us 2 times the lean of the denominator x plus 2, then plus 3 multiplying the lean of the denominator, which is x plus 3, right? And so if I try to do exactly what we did in example 1, this will become the log of uh, x plus 2 all raised to the power of 2 plus the log of x plus 3 all raised to the power of 3. That's taking this coefficient to become power and so finally, if I join this, remember this is going to be multiplication. So if I want to join it, that means this is going to be, this is going to be the log of uh, x plus 2 squared multiplied by x plus 3 or raised to the power of 3. Uh, remember that the log is on, on the two of them this way. Okay, and finally, you have your plus C. Okay, so you can actually also stop here and then put your constant C anywhere, and that is your solution. Okay, so this is what it uh, it uh, entails. Right, so uh, first of all, split into partial fractions, and then you do your integration using any of the rules that can help you. All right, all right, so I'm going to allow you to do this last example as an exercise. And then just write your solution, whatever you have, give us a comment on the comment section below. All right, kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel. Your, source, your subscription is important. Like, share this video. As you like this video, YouTube recommends it to more people. And you know that uh, it's important that more people will see what we are doing. All right, so we'll see you in our next video. Bye.